This is Ellen, Sisters 3 Farm, all things about rug hooking. And today I thought I would answer a viewer's question about rug hooking. They want to know, how do you keep your pattern square? How do you keep it from getting wonky is what I think the question is all about. How do you keep the edges straight and your pattern on grain? And it's actually fairly easy. It's something you need to do before you start hooking. I have this simple grid that at some point in my life, I am going to fill in with a lot of my leftover worms. And the way I would stay on grid or keeping my line straight is before I even start hooking, I would take my pencil and I would put it on my pattern in one of the corners. So we'll say we're gonna take it and we're going to put it in this corner here, okay? And I think you can see what I'm doing. I will do it. There we go. Take your pencil and you're putting it in the corner square or the corner of whatever your pattern is, the border. And you're lifting up slightly to create tension between your pencil and your backing. This backing happens to be cotton rug warp. And you give it a slight pull and you drag your pencil towards you and your backing away from you. Let's see if you can see this again. Pull it this way. I can do it way over here. Can you see that? And that's how you know that's square. And you do that on all four sides, everywhere on your pattern. Again, like that. It's very easy, it's quick. Again, you could hear the noise that it makes as your pencil point goes through every little opening in your backing. Now, that's an easy pattern. It's straight, it's square, it's my own. I know it was done well, but how about if we take a commercial pattern? This is a cutie. Um, and I could do exactly the same thing on anything I buy. Even if you're buying your pattern, that's an old vintage one off of eBay, you wanna take your pencil, put it in the corner of your pattern. And again, pull on your fabric, keep your pencil positioned down and pull. And you can find a nice, beautiful straight line, any pattern, anywhere. So then you do that all the way around and you can see that pencil mark. And what I like to do when it's my own pattern is take an industrial Sharpie and then you go over that pencil line and you make this so it's nice and dark. So when you're hooking, you can see your straight lines. Do that everywhere. But there's more than one way. There's something else that we can do in order to keep our patterns straight and on grain. I'm going to use my little Puritan here. It's my old fashioned Puritan, love it, great travel frame. What you're going to do is when you're hooking, you have to put your pattern on your rug hooking frame again. So the warp and the weft, which are the, the lines, the weaving in your backing, whether it's linen or cotton, are going top to bottom, right to left. You do not want to put your rug on crooked. This is a good example because of the, the, the grid pattern you can actually see really well. This would be crooked. And so if I'm cook, crook, hooking and it's crooked on here, it's not gonna come out perfectly straight. Even if I'm making a circle, I'm hooking a circle in here, you still want to have your pattern on. It doesn't matter whether you have a hoop or an octagon shaped um, rug hooking frame, you still want to put your backing on 
So the warp and the weft are going top to bottom, right to left. And that's a second way of making sure that your pattern stays square and uh, doesn't get all wonky. So I hope that's helped. I will have um, other videos coming up as people ask questions. Um, I think next week I'm going to do um, a little brief little video about um, different cuts for beginners. What does that mean? What is what's a three as opposed to an eight? What's a five? What's a six? Why do we care? <laughs> How do, what does it matter? But um, that will be another video. And I hope today's video about how keeping your pattern square was helpful. And if you have any questions, please feel free to drop me a line at ellen.sisters3farm at gmail.com or leave your question right at the bottom of one of my videos. I've gotten better at finding them and recording them. So nice to see you friends and happy hooking.